Are ghosts real? A question that is asked the world over, but one that has very strong connections to the City of London. We're on a mission to find out why this city is so strongly connected to the paranormal and maybe experience it ourselves. We invited experts Deborah Hyde and Kate Cheryl to try and find out more. Paranormal experiences tend to be um, evoked when there's something catastrophic happened, when there's been premature death. So although London isn't unusual in that sense, it's not a more bloody place than Paris or uh, Istanbul, you are bound to have graveyards. And we have had as many pandemics as other people. We've had the Black Death, smallpox and so forth. You've got lots of plague pits to choose from in London. And that's very evocative. With the dead, London is full of wild characters and wild acclaims. I found everything from cemetery vampires to ghosts of queens. The spectrum of stories that you get in London is enormous. If we consider that spirits are energy, creating an atmosphere of positive energy is just as effective and just as important as screaming into the darkness, trying to agitate some demon from the netherworld. Armed with new knowledge, we journeyed to southwest London to join an official investigation of a site rumoured to have been built on the site of 119 unmarked graves. Hello everyone, we're on site now. We're going to follow around the crew for a little ghost hunt. They're going to investigate where cleaning staff has reported weird light activities, sounds, voices and shadows. So at the moment it's 1929. So this is an EMF meter. Um, it's calibrated in milligauss. At the moment it's registering about 1.2, which is quite normal. That's what you'd expect in a normal domestic environment. Just moved up a little bit higher there. That could potentially be mobile phone interference. When you started playing with it, that increased. So, you know, there, there's a, you know, we're aware that things like this, walkie talkies, um, will actually cause external control. So, we're investigating sound, we're investigating yes. the light, we're doing all that on several floors. It's quite interesting to see, and they're setting up the little recorders on the different levels. So, I'm just mm -hmm. going to tag along and see where this goes. So the spirits, the spirit that may be heard in this particular area, um, if you're about with us tonight and you're wondering what's going on, we're actually here to try and prove your existence. So this is your chance to make contact with somebody who's very much interested in finding out about your story. So if you'd like to do something while we're here, um, you can touch one of us, you have permission to do that. You cannot hurt any of us. You can say something, um, or if you have the strength, you can actually make a knocking sound against the wall or the floor. However you deem it possible, we would like to hear you do something for us right now, please. With no clear response, the hunters concluded that the activity reported was mere coincidence. I asked Nick about what may have been going on. What we also find is that there's a, perhaps a bit of an issue where people think things might happen. Yeah. So it's already there. Yeah, when they expect, expect something you know, to happen. It's three o'clock in the morning, you'll yeah. get back the building on your yeah. own. It gets You're expected, waiting even for also, you must be, you might be more aware and more conscious. Yeah. So you're looking out for stuff to happen that seems yeah. unusual, maybe. Yeah. And then you're more likely to find it. Yeah, sure. In comparison to when you're yeah, busy and not focusing. Whilst we didn't find any evidence of the supernatural tonight, it's hard to deny the city's unsettling history. But the question of whether ghosts are real will remain, for now, unanswered.